Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video tutorial on abstract expressionism. Um, to review, last time we met, it was your job to learn about abstract expressionism as well as Mark Rothko. Um, you were to uh, Google search um, different images and articles of Mark Rothko and then screenshot your favorite painting of his that could potentially be used for inspiration for the art making project, which is today. So remember, if you are not yet done with the animations for your video game design challenge or your artist statement, that is your priority. Get that done first. All of this week's activities on abstract expressionism are optional for you to do unless you're done with the video game design challenge. When you're done with that video game design challenge, put the animations in your artist statement and upload that to Google Classroom. So to review, last time we met we talked about abstract expressionism. Artists thought that this artwork should express feelings which should be more important than images of the real world. This artwork also was known as abstract, which means shapes, lines, and colors were more important than something's actual visual appearance in reality. We also talked about Mark Rothko. Again, he was a painter who focused on what was known as color field or relationships between colors and he used large canvas, canvases with tones that were darker and lighter than the dominant hue. He used a lot of analogous colors, which are colors that are similar in appearance next to each other on the color wheel and are look aesthetically pleasing together. So here's some different examples of analogous colors. Um, these warm colors, these cool colors, and also these other cool colors are all next to each other on the color wheel and appear very similar to each other um, in reference. These are two different from each other, both in distance as well as appearance, as well as the primary colors as a non-example as well. So if you successfully looked at some different examples of Mark Rothko's work, or also read some articles on the internet about Mark Rothko, you are now ready to create your art making project, which is today's expectations. So today, you're gonna to be using uh, your art making medium of choice to create different geometric shapes of various sizes. You're gonna make sure that you're using analogous colors and you're gonna be working on a piece of paper. So the original product is intended for oil pastels, but I understand not every single person has oil pastels at home. So for this product, you can choose any art making medium that you prefer or have access to. So oil pastels, crayons, colored pencils, paint, watercolor, even construction color paper will work. In a pinch, if you have none of those materials, just use Piscal and create your artwork on the website that we've been using for the last project. So you're gonna start by planning out your design. I'm using rectangles of a variety of sizes, which are all obviously geometric shapes. I would not recommend that you use more than five shapes, but use at least two to three. Again, you do not have to use rectangles. You can use a lot of other shapes if you want. Um, I'm gonna be using a lot of cool colors. So I'm using some magentas or red violets um, and a couple other different shades of purple or violet as well as blue violet. So these colors that I'm filling in, I'm using oil pastels. Again, oil pastels are really nice for filling in large areas of colors and smearing. If you're not using oil pastels, you can create the same effect with any other art making medium. You just might not be able to blend as easily with these colors. Now I do want you to fill in the background. The background can be an analogous color, which means it's next to the other colors on the color wheel and appear similarly, or they can also be um, a contrasting color. So something that is contrasting to cool colors or purples is what's on the opposite side of the color wheel, which is um, like yellows or oranges. So those are complementary colors. If you are using oil pastels, I do want you to smear. If you're not, you're not really gonna be able to smear with this. You might be able to smear a little bit with a crayon, but for the most part, um, if you're using markers, if you're using colored pencils, if you're using um, other, color, other things, you're not gonna be able to smear like this. So kind of ignore this step if you don't have oil pastels. Once you're done with your art making project, please complete the daily participation form, filling out all the different answers to the questions, as well as taking a photograph of your artwork and uploading it to the file um, upload button. So that does it for another video tutorial on abstract expressionism, specifically focusing on Mark Rothko. Tomorrow we'll be focusing on a new artist whose name is Vasily Kadinsky. He'll be creating artwork inspired by his work. Um, I hope you had fun today. Uh, be creative, work hard, and as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me 
or pop in on office hours 1 to 2 p.m. daily.